Is Onslaught good for camo grinding? I have people tell me all the time that this is their go-to mode for grinding out weapon XP, but is it good for getting camos as well? We're gonna be testing that out a little bit today because in our last video, our top comment was from Gowis Gaming. I'm definitely butchering that, so I apologize. But they said they want us to get the bullfrog done, so that's what we'll be doing today. They also said that we can upgrade our submachine guns all the way to tier five, so let me go ahead and do that. And before we hop into it, if you wanna leave any weapon challenge or upgrade suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed, so make sure you check that out first. So that way we don't get any repeats. Like I mentioned before, I get told all the time that this is the best mode for grinding out XP. And I don't know if I truly believe it because every time I'm doing my grinding streams where I'm getting my weapons leveled up in Outbreak, everyone always asks me, why am I not playing Onslaught for it? And today I am not at max level. I'm at level 43 with our bullfrog here. So not a whole lot of levels to get, but arguably these are some of the more difficult levels to get for a weapon because every time you level your weapon up, it takes more and more XP to get to the next one. And we're in that final run of levels here where we don't have a whole lot left to get. So we'll see if we can get a little bit of XP here, but I'm not really focused on the XP portion of it. I want to see if this is good for getting camos because the main reason why I don't play Onslaught for getting my weapons leveled up is that I feel like I get too many camos faster than I get my weapons leveled up. So I will go more in depth in the leveling portion of Onslaught in a different video, but for today, I'm mainly focusing on just getting camos. And honestly, I really like the Onslaught mode. I just think it's a little bit difficult for grinding for uh, certain types of weapons. Like today for an SMG, I'm sure we'll do fine since this has like a pretty decent fire rate. But if I was using something like uh, the M79, any explosive weapon, any sniper, I feel like I'd be struggling. Because right now there's not a whole lot of zombies walking around on the map. But uh, once you get into those later surges, they get in your face pretty quick. But I do like the little extra layer of difficulty it adds where you don't really get to pick how strong you are. Every little thing that you can get to upgrade your weapon, like Aether tools, chalices to pack a punch, and even like your perks are all random. You don't get to choose what perks you got. I got really lucky getting dead shot here at the start, but that could have been like tombstone. And if you go down at all on this, you don't just get to go and buy those perks and pack a punch and all that back. So it's really up to you how long you can survive an onslaught. And I like that a lot. And from what I've been told, the most popular strat is here on Ubon. Uh, this is onslaught containment, by the way, not just or normal onslaught in case you're curious. But people run toxic growth and they throw down their toxic growth bushes right here because if you stand in this spot, the zombies can only come at you from this little angle here. They won't hop over the railing or anything. So it makes it kind of like a colonel's office-esque spot where all the zombies basically come at you in a straight line and you can get some easy crits that way. But unfortunately for me, I don't have my toxic growth leveled up, so they're not gonna be as strong and as durable and I can't hold on to as many, but even without toxic growth upgraded, I can still place down three of the bushes. So I think we'll be all right. Everything in me wants to use ring of fire, but when we attempted this on stream uh, a few weeks ago, maybe a week or two ago, I was getting overrun using ring of fire, but even with my non-upgraded toxic growth, it, it was doing better than that. And I think that's pretty cool because I don't get to use toxic growth a whole lot. I think it's one of the cooler field upgrades out there and I'm glad I get to actually get some use out of it. So let's put another bush down right here and let's try to keep our first bush alive. You know, zombies already running right through it. The longer that can stay in place, the better. Oh, and even a better part about Onslaught is that you get the full power uh, power ups. I almost called them field upgrades, but it's so sick getting a power up that restores your field upgrade. It makes it feel like the mode goes by a little bit faster. And I wish we had the full power power ups and just normal round base. And having those power ups makes it so if you want to go pick up an insta kill, it's actually kind of viable. Because I mainly try to avoid insta kills because I don't get any progress towards my field upgrade. And having no field upgrade in this game can kind of lead you into some bad situations where you can get fucked up. So any chance we got to get a field upgrade, I'm down for. And there's Tombstone, didn't take long. And even though, like I was saying before, you don't get to pick like what you upgrade and what you get, you get set up pretty fast here. I still don't have Pack-A-Punch, which is kind of hurting us, but I already got like some pretty decent perks. We already are in our grinding spot. And we don't have to deal with anything like running around the map, opening doors, doing whatever tasks to get pack a punch on. 
we just go find our spot and get the grind in. And let's check in on our XP. So we've leveled up one and a quarter time. We still need six more levels if we want to get this thing gold viper in this game. Which, by the way, with these weapon levels, I feel like mine have been glitching out recently. Because I'll see one le weapon level in game, like, you know, how it'll pop up and say, like, oh, you reached the weapon level whatever on X gun. I'll see mine say, like, level 46 for our, our bullfrog is what I ended at when, our, when I stopped streaming the other day. Today I hop on, I'm at 43. And last time with our AK, I, I think I lost like eight or seven levels, something crazy like that after leaving my game. And when I say leaving my game, I mean just like the game ending. I didn't quit out of it, so I I wouldn't lose progress. I did specifically so I wouldn't. Finish the game just like you're supposed to, and I still feel like it glitches out and I lose my progress. That is like my main gripe with Cold War. The leveling in this game is so slow and just unpredictable. And these Megatons are kind of just leading us out of our spot here. They put all that radiation right where we were sitting. And please say we got a chalice. Nope. We got level two armor. Any chalices over here where they split? Sick. We could really use Pack-a-Punch soon. There's level 45. So, so far in 17 surges, about uh, 16 minutes is how long I've been recording for. We got two levels. Not terrible. And this elite better have a pack-a-punch chalice for me. But we're getting way too far into this without one. I need you to go ahead and die. Please. Come on. Ooh. Nope. Gotta reload. Now nah, you can die. Any chalices? How are you still not dropping me a chalice? Oh, it's right here. I'm an idiot. Okay. We got our first pack-a-punch. But seeing chalices on the ground really makes me want to play the Halloween mode. And we're getting close to that time of year. So COD, please don't let me down and bring that mode back. I really want to do some first trooping challenges. Just jack-o'-lanterns only. Such a fun event. And I really hope they bring it back. Last year they brought it back, but it didn't stay all the way till Halloween because they had the early access for the Modern Warfare 2 campaign come out. But I hope this year it stays for most of October or even comes out at all. I don't know how busy or if they're even worried about Cold War anymore with Treyarch's next game coming out next year. They got a zombies mode in Modern Warfare 3 coming out. Something in me thinks that they won't bring it back, but the optimist in me thinks that they will. But either way, if they do bring it back and end it before October is over, I'll still complain a little bit, but I'll be happy that it happened. Oh, level 46. So we're three levels deep, 21 surges deep as well. Oh, and we unlocked the Tech-9. Sick. And a quick little Aether wrench. Cannot pick up. Oh, I'm already at Legendary tier. I'm not used to having the Super Easter Egg done. I almost completely forgot about it. It's nice starting out with a pink rarity. A little epic tier. But if I didn't do it, I would only be on rare tier right now. My gun would be extremely weak. Ooh, okay, Mimic. Personal space, buddy. You ever heard of it? There we go. And I also just realized... I don't think there's wonder weapons in Onslaught Elite. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, there wouldn't be like a, a set wonder weapon for Yubon, even though it's technically just Maori Toten. I think it makes high rounding in Onslaught a little more impressive because you don't have like that set one weapon that can just carry you all the way to a high round. I mean, you can start out with the M79, but like I mentioned earlier, you don't get to pick what perks you grab. You just have to wait and see if you get PhD. Also bars. I'm gonna really try to get as far as I can in this, but now that I've uh, stated that as my intention, COD's gonna throw everything it's got at me. There's another level, we're at 47, and that's taken us about 917 kills to get there. So we leveled up like three, four times and gotten a thousand kills in the process. I think I can get a lot more XP for that in uh, Outbreak for way less kills. That's probably only good for like me, who's trying to uh, Get as many levels with as little kills as possible so I can record me getting the camos. Very uh, unique problem for myself. So I'm sure Onslaught's pretty good for anyone that's trying to get camos and levels at the same time. Because right now it's doing all right. I don't think we'd have near this many kills or levels playing round based right now. So it's got that going for it. And there's not a whole lot of downtime in between surges here like you would with rounds. It's uh, pretty similar to a rampage inducer. The only like big amount of downtime you get is when an elite spawns in because we'll do a whole animation with them coming through like a little rift but zombies and everything still spawn in pretty fast with it and it's nice that you get to space out your elites because it's pretty annoying when you're trying to sit there and grind camos and you got like 15 manglers and mimics running at you 
fucking everything up. But they only come at you like one by one, basically. The rest of the shit you'll see will just be normal zombies and some plague hounds. And as much as I hate plague hounds and they get on my fucking nerves because their their pathing is weird and they just jump at you like it's nothing. They kind of help out in this mode a little bit. If you can kill them before they get close to you so you're not sitting there in their, their fumes, they slow down the zombies even more. And then that compiled with the toxic growth, it's like they can't even get to you. And there's level 48. We're only two away. And there's our rotten camo. So we're all done with normal kills, but we still have an insane amount of crits to go. And our pack-a-punch camos have fallen behind because it took us so long to get a chalice. Oh, and we got a sentry gun right here. I kind of just want to put this down just so it's like plants versus zombies. Just for a little fun. We're playing zombies tower defense now. Actually, that'd be a fun idea for a video. Oh, no. Ooh, that was our first close call just by zombies there. And that wasn't even that close. It just got my asshole to tighten a little bit. So I lost my toxic growth. But so far, I am I think I can say for sure that this is better than grinding on D Machina. At least for the elites. Getting elite once every few surges here is such a better rate than on there. We see way more megatons here. But the megatons do always drive us out of our little spot. These guys are way too tough. And now they're dead. And you don't even really need to think about ammo in this mode. There's just so much that drops. Like, I do have mule kick right now, and it's upgraded to where I get increased ammo drop from these zombies. But it's increased even more so in this mode because they don't have any ammo crates. So the zombies have to drop a, a decent amount of ammo. Otherwise, this mode would be, like, unplayable. I haven't even had to worry about ammo besides reloading. And even then... This thing has 170 rounds just in the mag. But now I've kind of uh, fallen into the insta-kill trap where I picked it up without having a field upgrade ready to go. And it's getting a little scary. My defenses are down. And I get like little to no critical kills when I got insta-kill going. I feel like I hit everything but the head. Oh, don't go down here. Let's not go down. Let's uh, stay up. Use that. Oh, I have no idea how we survived. Holy fuck, that was so close. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it was bound to happen at some point. That's why field upgrades are super important because we just lost all of our perks and we're about to go down again. Holy shit. Well, at least we're on to another elite round so we can get at least one perk back here. Assuming that we survive this. Oh, when shit hits the fan in this mode, it hits it quick. I really wish we didn't lose dead shot. All right, what are we getting back? Speed call? That's fine, I guess. But insta kill is almost an insta kill for me. That shit will get you fucked up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, motherfucker. All right, well, we're hitting a wall here around or Surge 37. I am not surviving. Let's see if we can bring this back somehow. I'll toss all the decoys I got to keep them away from me. Oh, that didn't work. The second it wore off, they all mobbed me. But within one game, we got 1,600 kills, 1,043 crits. We went down three times and made it 37 surges. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six levels for a bullfrog. That's not terrible. A little bit of camo progress too. Still need a lot of crits though. Let's hop back in. All right, second time's the charm or whatever the fuck they say. And let's see if we can get something good from our first elite here. Why don't you help me out and give me dead shot right away? Please. Eh, death perception. Actually not even really good in this mode. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna get any extra scrap because we don't need scrap. Can't craft shit anyways. I guess you get a little more like uh, critical hit damage or something or damage on enemies with armor. But besides that, pretty lame. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna try. Oh, well, fuck my plan. I was gonna say, I'm not even gonna try shooting at this mangler. I'm just gonna get it with the RCXT. He spawn trapped it. Fucked it up the second it got in here. So give me a good perk for that. Jug. All right, whatever. If it works, it works. Oh, we got a chalice early in. Look at that. Actually giving me something good early. And there's level 50. So it took us about an hour. Pretty close to it. 50 minutes to get what? Seven levels? Six levels? I don't remember where we were at when we started. 43, 44, something like that. So not the fastest way to get some XP, but... I mean, it's decent. And there's our 1,500 crits. Still need a 1,000 more. And we're starting to get our jackrabbit kills. Or camos, whatever. No! No! Oh, that was so scary. I thought I was about to already go down. We don't need any of that. And there's Deadshot. Appreciate you, Megaton. And a silver chalice. My guy. And we're all done with our jackrabbits. We got to level 50 in this game. And got all the camos for level 50 done. The bullfrog is so much better than I remember. It's actually kind of tearing through these elites. 
And we're only like pack two. Kind of seems like an underrated SMG. I'm not going to lie. There's our pack a punch camo. So I think all we need is crits. Story of my life. No way, you just ran right through both of my toxic growths, you cheating fuck. Dude, just no clipped. Better give me a golden chalice for that. Nope, just all aether wrenches that I don't need. Dickhead. But at least we're still getting levels. We might actually max this thing out before we get all of our camos done. This is very brain dead, but at the same time, very satisfying. Just sitting here melting zombies is like cathartic. But this guy better give me a golden chalice because this is taking way too long to split them. Our weapon damage is falling behind. Come on, RNG gods, help me out. Come on, fucking die, please. Lele and a bronze chalice. Thank you. Exactly what I was looking for, actually. Two bronze chalices. Only I could combine them and still not have enough for pack three. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. That's unfortunate as hell. We lost Deadshot again. My full power doesn't seem like it worked. And the worst part about toxic growth is when you're getting stormed like that, you can't really just place it right down in front of you. It's like there's always something blocking it. All right, we need you to drop me a golden chalice, please. Because if we're not going to have all of our perks, we at least need to be able to do some more damage. There you go. Still no gold. Awesome. Why am I still getting bronze chalices dropped for me on Surge 31? Oh, now we're dead again. Nate, go off. Woo! That was close. And I need to reload. Only one health. There's no health. Oh, fuck. This is difficult. They do not play around in this mode. That's what I was talking about earlier. When they're in your face, they're in your fucking face. I need a toxic growth. There we go. We got one. A little bit of a defensive front. Another nade. Go! <sighs> Stay the fuck back. Nade, save me. Oh, give me the armor. Give me the armor. Okay, cool. Good thing about Onslaught, they drop you a lot of shit. Bad thing about Onslaught, there's a lot of shit on the ground to block you from picking up what you really want. I'm determined to make a turnaround in this game. I want to get the rest of my camos done. I don't want to have to play three games of Onslaught. Just might involve a little bit of training. I'm going to try to throw down a Toxic Growth and I'm going to train until I get one more because I feel like one is just not safe enough right now. Oh! I might have fucked myself here. No, I didn't. I'm the greatest. I wasn't concerned for a second. I'm just the best. Now I just need whatever this elite is to drop me dead shot and a gold chalice. I am struggling to even get these guys killed. They're just eating these bullets. All right, that's one of them. And this should be number two right about now. Stamina. Don't want that. Any gold chalices though? You're fucking with me. Only silvers. I don't even know if it's safe to camp in the spot anymore. We are not doing enough damage to stop them from breaking our toxic growths. But they're making us work for it. We gotta earn this. But I finally set up all my toxic growths and they're basically all gone and we gotta go. That was fun while it lasted. All right, this elite better help me out. I want to see a gold chalice coming out of you. There we go. Did you drop it though? What the fuck is this? Still only bronze chalices? I changed my mind. This mode sucks. I hate it. Pretty sure we died last time on Surge 37, or maybe it was 47. I don't remember. But now we're back to a similar Surge with way less power. All right, we got all of our Toxic Gross back. Let's try surviving here again. Oh, I think they all just disappeared in front of my fucking eyes. And now I disappeared. <sighs> only got 877 crits that time, and we need to get to like 1,100. So we're, we're getting there. But it's going to take us a few games. All right, let's get those last few crits here and get on out. Ooh, that was a fast elite kill. And they give me tombstone to start. Now they're just fucking with me. Now let's see if I can get all my crits done before they drop me a chalice. Because so far we're chaliceless. And we're at 184 crits. So what will it be, Mimic? You going to give me a chalice? Oh, he did. Thanks, dude. All right, well, looks like we will have Pack-A-Punch before our crits are done. But it got pretty close. And there's max level on our bullfrog. So we did get our full... What was that, like... 
12 levels, 13 levels, and about like an hour and a half. Not the fastest rate for XP, but those were some pretty high levels. Need a lot of XP for those, so inconclusive. I do want to go through and like fully test out a gun from nothing all the way to level 55 and Onslaught and see what that's like. Because we got to start ramping up the amount of weapons we're getting done if we want to get Dark Aether before mw3 comes out so i might start picking some weapons here and there there's a level up is that gold viper oh yes it is let's go so we made it to surge 17 here only 354 kills it took until we got it but zombies you guys can go ahead and take me out you guys earned it and we'll tombstone shadow to end it thank you for your help zombies i'll see you guys later and just to make sure that we did get it because we have been having issues with our levels and everything resetting. We are at max level, which is great. And we do have a gold viper. Not bad. So is Onslaught good for grinding? I'd say it's pretty good for getting camos. It's a very high risk, high reward mode if you want to go and knock out a bunch of camos. But the risk with it being if you go down once you're at that higher surge, probably a good chance that you're going to die again. And if you don't, you need to make it like 10 surges until you can get all those perks back and get back to where you were. So if you can survive it, I think it's pretty good for getting it done. But if you keep dying like I was right Right there it might take a little bit longer than it would if you're playing round based however you do get a lot more xp in onslaught than you would in round base so it's kind of a toss-up but like i said i want to do a video going from like level one all the way to like 50 or 55 with a weapon just to see how long that actually takes and to see how many camos we get along the way i also want to try this with like outbreak solo and maybe round based in the C. you know which one is really the best for getting camos versus getting xp versus getting both but i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i appreciate you guys watching and i truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later